for me. A lot of people may hit me up to uh, attack a lot of topics and attack a lot of issues that I, I that I've been doing that didn't even have a motherfucking chance to get to because YouTube is going through some motherfucking bullshit. All I got like ten videos up there that have been processing for like ten days. I ain't got time. I had to delete those. We're gonna redo them. I figured out what was partially the problem, and it's partially the problem that I had got my more than fifteen minutes video to upload rights taken away from me. So now my videos have to be under fifteen minutes until further notice. And, to, and then when I make this other YouTube page. But right now I want to talk about having a Nephilim soul. A lot of people have been coming at me. They want to know about the Nephilims and, and know what's my take on the Nephilims and, uh, and shit like that. And my take, my take on it. Look, you're talking to the Archangel Uriel right now. So I'm going to tell you the real deal. And I'm going to tell you, even if you, even if the information I give you, you can't find it nowhere else on the information on the on on the internet. Say you type in Nephilim, and everything you look up has nothing to do with what I'm talking about. Do not dish me to the side. I am giving you the real source. I'm giving you the real shit, the real perception of it. Not no, uh, I read this book and I read this book, and then I came to this analysis to do this, and then uh, this is teaching us this, and this is the one. No, I'm gonna tell you I was there. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck how you look at me. I'm weird or whatever like that. Uh, you can't tell how the the why the whys and the whats and the whens in the house is irrelevant to me. So all y'all punk ass human beings in this perception who hold weight to the what the whys the whens the wheres and all that. Uh, this is why you losing the battle, and this is why you may think a nigga like me is weird. But I can tell you from the bottom of my heart, I can give a flying fuck, and I'm gonna tell you the motherfucking real. My motherfucker take on the Netflix. Now I'm gonna tell you right now. It was a long time ago when I used to go, when I used to guard the Garden of the Eden. Now you may think like Dolo, you talk all that shit, but you talk about the Garden of Eden, and that's straight out of the religious program. What did you talk? Now there was an actual garden that actual came up the tree of life. But the only way I can explain certain things to you niggas is because these energies is equated into other vortexes. Now, it may not necessarily, now when I was there, it may not necessarily been the Garden of Eden, but the story and the and the precautions of the Garden of Eden, how you know it, and how the religious program took it and made it into its, re its perception and its relationship to it, which, it's a lot of different perceptions and relationships to the Garden of Eden. All different names, all different sigils, but it all equates to the same energy. Now, this place that took place that the religious took the perception of and, and called it the Garden of Eden, whatever like that. Now, the story that may have happened in the books may not happen. But the energy that it's carrying and, and the residual sounds and the frequencies and the, and the symbols and stuff that come from that time frame actually exist. The only part that don't exist is probably the stories that, that the Bible may have said that took place and the actual name of it. But all the energy and, and the force field came up, came from somewhere. Now, I'm finna talk about where it came from. I was fucking there. You know what I'm saying? I was fucking there. Adam and Eve wasn't human. So don't even, don't even jump into that vortex. There, there wasn't humans yet. There was all beings. Not human beings yet, though. This beings and, and entities. And at that time, at that time, beings were lower forms of entities. Now, it's another video. I'm not gonna get into all the entities that engineered the beings. And the beings took the information from the entities and and perceptionalized it to the point that it became split from the singularity, which entities is split from a singularity. It's a higher thing than an entity, but we're we gonna, we gonna get to that. Right now we're talking about the kids and all the lower generations and all the descendants from entities. A descendant from an entity is a being. That's a being. When a, when a large entity can mortalize itself, immortalize itself into a being. So say like the top of the pyramid, right? That first block. Say that's an entity, right? The all right, now, the first set of groups of blocks that's built under that, say it need about four blocks under that one block to hold that. Those will be considered beings. And they all, four, all them four blocks have four different perceptions of the one entity. You know what I'm saying? Here to carry out, and then they carry out lower shit. Like, human beings, we at the bottom of the... Y'all at the bottom of the... I'm not a human being, but I chose to experience of human life. So this is just one of my forms. 
know what I'm saying? And um, I'm here to drag people who's who can relate to this form of having a of being a star. We all stars. We all tetra stars. We all uh, when you spread out and close your legs, you're across. And when you when you open your legs and open your arms, and then you have the head, which is the the, the focal point of the antenna of your hair, where you receive the information. And it creates a star. We're all flying stars. Like, you know what I'm saying? And we're just walking on the left. Let's, that's another video, though. Let's get to what I'm talking about. Okay, um, you, the beings are lower, are lower than the entity. Right? Now, what was here was a bunch of beings. And uh, we, we got information from entities of how to create our own beings lower than that. So, what we did was... We created um, the Merkaba and then the Tree of Life. And then the Merkaba and the Tree of Life, see, the Merkaba is our directional sense on a land that we choose to live on. So a Merkaba is going to give us everything that goes up to 3D from straight across, like from front, sideways, to back, or whatever like that. Then what we do, we plant the consciousness level of the top of our antennas and create and create the vortex and we have to create a vortex because this is only a vortex in a circle. We can only do a 360. But we all know a 360 can can do that too. See, the Merkaba is the 360 around you. Like how you put on a belt, how you do a circle. You're only looking left, right, boom, 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 boom. That's the Merkaba. The tree of life is the Merkaba flipped upside so we can have three uh, so we can create a sphere so when it's done when everything done doing circles like that we need a circle that's done like that too to cr to complete a sphere this is how it start complete this is how we created vortexes I gotta hurry up and not do this video more longer than 15 minutes this is how we created a, a sphere of reality a vortex so this is how we did it on land which the entities did it first on its land but its land appeared to us as, you know, space and the universe, whatever like that. So us as beings, we all, we, all we're doing is duplicate the information that they're doing on a lower scale. This is how we get, this is how we get in the scale. This is how we get the pyramid effect, right? Me being an Archangel Uriel, as, as coming from an entity place being made into a, a being, which... Um, you know, human beings are more powerful than angels, but I'm going to tell you, uh, that's another video. Arch, I'm an archangel. I'm an archangel, though. And I come from the uh, the, the, the cerebrum, right? And I, I'm coming from an aspect of being next to the vine. So, when we came down here, it was only so much we was allowed to do and not allowed to do, which we can do it just as much as humans. Because they have free will. But at this time, it was just beings. I'm talking about beings. I'm talking about grays. I'm talking about um, um, uh, the Pallades. I'm talking about the... Uh, I'm talking about all these all these motherfuckers. Like, you know what I'm saying? The, um, that's another video. Because I'm making this video too long. But look, check this out. Uh, I'm going to tell you how to have a Nephilim soul. You know what I'm saying? The Nephilims. Okay, the Nephilims, after beings was made, human beings was made out of the beings... You still had a bunch of mixed breeds here, and uh, and a lot of uh, that with all the um, different beings that was down here and shit. Y'all should be f f familiar with a lot of beings, but you know what I'm saying. Um, what happened is, me being an angel, um, and it wasn't I can name us, but I'm, I'm only gonna speak for myself right now. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm really there with the energies that's going on right now. So I choose not to name drop. But as far as me, you know what I'm saying. As far as me. I came down here and had intercourse with with beings, with lower form beings and lower form human beings, right? But when I come down here and have intercourse and intervene and and and, and having sex and, and creating creating molecules and create creating different vortexes and, and, and spheres of realities and perceptions and shit, what manifests out of that is is mixed breeds. Now Nephilims is a direct mix, mixed breed from having the blood of an angel and having the blood of a being so um, of a lower being so uh, angels are beings too they just at a higher this, a lot of a lot of mixed breeds this this is this is what Nephilims come from mixed breeds being mixed breeds that's Nephilim so when when a lower form have the intercourse with a higher form it creates 
and, and manifest a child of Nephilim. Now, there's a lot of people here who have Nephilim spirits but may not be in Nephilim bodies. So you you may you may see a short motherfucker, a midget or something like that come, but he would kick your ass at any given time. And then everybody respect him. See, he has a big spirit, a big heart, a big soul. He has a big spirit. So he may, be, he may come in small packages in reality, but you respect him, you fear him, because he has a big, a, a big spirit. Or it may be a person you like to be around. Some, some grand, grandeur about them. They have a Nephilim spirit. So esoterically, your spirit, your soul is looking at theirs esoterically and see that it may be maybe larger than yours. But in reality, in this physical form, you, uh, you may be more physically equipped than them, but you wouldn't take it there because you see the size spirit they have. This is a definition and a direct example of having a Nephilim soul, Nephilim, having a Nephilim spirit. So, you know what I'm saying? I gotta cut this video short, man. See, when I start talking, man, there's so many spheres of realities I can get in and start talking about. Because I am I, li I live there. It's not like I'm talking about something I read something. No. I ain't gotta read a book, read nothing a day of my motherfucking life. I lived it. So, anytime somebody comes to me about something that they heard, seen, or learned, or anything about something... And then once I start talking, and then a, a person will be able to honestly take into consideration what I'm talking about. Even if I never even read upon what they're talking about a day in my life. Believe me, I know about it. You know what I'm saying? And even if I come across aggressive or come across sometimes, a person can never tell me I don't know what I'm talking about. I never had to experience that in my life. That's what even took me into a path that I'm in right now. But, you know what I'm saying? That's either here and there. That's another video. I'm the mind of an Antares Moon. I'm the Archangel Uriel. I'm here to carry out God's duties and motherfucking responsibilities. So all my motherfucking Nephilim's out there, let your spirit show. Let it shine and glow. Even if you got square in opposition planets that kind of make you kind of put yourself in a box sometimes, make you make you too reserved sometimes, but you always had that feeling of just letting go, that feeling is real. And it need to get nurtured. So go ahead and let that shit go, man. Flight boss, bitch. You know, for sure. And grams.